Okay, guys, here we go. Another family guy trying not to laugh. This is some more cutaways. This is uh, from season 18. It's amazing to me because I told you guys at night um, before I go to bed, I always turn TV on for a little while or when I first go to bed and I watch a lot of family guy. I still see stuff that I either didn't see or didn't see enough to have remembered a lot of chair shots. So you brought your family? Just stunning to be a how much trip. family guy please content there Donna. is. She'll she kill me if she knew wives were allowed. Years, please, please, Lois, Lois, please, promise me. Promise Here, look, first. I'm putting money in your purse. Look at me, I'm putting money in your purse. And of course, Joe was handing her his, his service gun. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sending a <laughs> selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam. Please don't, please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam. And send. Ooh. You son of a bitch. Uh oh. I told you. What did he do now? <laughs> ah, shit. Come on. <laughs> they got to take a little mercy on me when it goes on that long. You know, it's got to, one of the jokes are going to get me. That's good. Friends who don't wake your husband. Yeah, because we know. And every woman that you'll date, marry, whatever the case may be, there's always. Well, I'm not a good judge because lots of people that don't like me don't, don't have to be her friends. To you. What is it, Bonnie? Nothing, Father Monahan. What the fuck? That don't surprise. I, I've told you guys, I don't. I don't like Bonnie. She treats Joe like shit. I mean, if you're that unhappy, leave, hmm? or just get dick from the local clergy. Warm cuts, I guess. Like cold cuts, but warm. A million dollar idea. Warm cuts? That's dumb. If it's so dumb, how come we're pitching it on Shark Tank? Now, when we first started Warm Cuts, it was just a gross idea. But this year, we're on track to get sued for twelve and a half million dollars. That's quadruple the projections. You know what? I like your product. But more than that, I like you guys. I'm in, and I'll give you exactly what you're asking for. One hundred thousand dollars for ten percent. What do you say? <laughs> I like how he leads right in with how much they're getting sued for. <laughs> That's way more interesting than just having revenue. Does anyone other than Robert have an offer? That would be yeah, that would that would be a Peter decision there. And from now on, I'm not uh -huh. hiding anything. Like Peter and his formaldehyde jars. So that was when I I, I didn't know that's obviously when Brian was going out with Quagmire's dad, right? Yeah, well duh. Peter? Yes. Is this about my work? Hi, I have a styrofoam cooler with weird tape on it. Ah, that must be the cat brains and baby bodies. Are you making people? <laughs> He'll be flattered you called him that. <laughs> 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 Shit, got me. <laughs> He'll be flattered you called him that. <laughs> I love this fucking show. After all, I'm not the first person to deliver <clears throat> tough news, like when they found Waldo. There are many things I can't go into at this time. Uh oh. But I can confirm that a body was removed from Waldo's apartment this morning. Is uh -oh. this being treated as a suicide? Again, I can't confirm. But to that point, instead of always asking, where's Waldo, maybe some of you should have been asking, how's, how's Waldo? How's Waldo? Good day. Listen, I don't want to get lectured by a cop. Just because some uh, legendary meme figure killed himself. Fuck Waldo, how's that? You're taking this way too seriously. It's a meaningless event, like a bar mitzvah. Today you are a man. Great, can I drive? No. Can I vote? No. Can I drink? No. Can I have sex? No. Can I cash the checks? Yes! To be honest with you. you. Ooh. That's part of your bar mitzvah? Well, I should have looked into the Hebrew lifestyle. I didn't know you got to automatically feel up a girl taller than you. Of course. I just have to apply myself. I would have enjoyed like that at that age. That or casino. this age. No more bets. The money you could have gone to your kids is gone. No more bets. The money you worked hard for is gone. Fools, fools, fools. Ooh, double zero. Nobody thinks about that one. And guy walks quickly away from table without a word replaced by an older white man with a much younger black woman. No more bets. No more bets. 
I used to, I, well, I don't play roulette very often. If I'm in the casinos, I'll play the machines here and there, but mostly blackjack. Uh, I usually play double zero just because, I don't know, I want the odds. <laughs> you and Carter are meant for each other. You go together. But like the couple from the movie Grease. Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong, do you take Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom to be your wife? I like Grease. And Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom, do you take ching, Mr. Ching, Rama ching, Lama ching, Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong to be your husband? I do. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. <gasps> Mr. Chang Chang Changity. I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Bip de bip de bip do up and dooby doo boogie doo boogie 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 doo. I can't. I can't do it. Big surprise. Oh my God, Peter, there's a spider in here. Yeah, I know, genius. That was pretty good. I'm aware. Hey guys, the Goosh, our Patreon, is entirely what allows me to do all this. So if you got a moment, please check it out. The link is in the description. Red Lottie Baba. <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> so that was cool. <laughs> wood. Wood. I love right. Beavis and Butthead. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quality combo right there. Uh, yeah, I would watch that show. Please I'd watch the shit out of that white show. Bronco. Why did you have a white Bronco, Daddy? I was driving my innocent friend OJ and his ex-wife's head down to Mexico. His ex-wife's head. Wow. <laughs> Cleveland Cowlings. <laughs> my friend and his ex-wife's head. Jesus Last year, I spent Christ. Thanksgiving with my old blow-up sex oh. dolls. There you go, Carla. See, we can do other things together. How's the turkey? I made it myself. Wow. Oh, don't look so surprised. That's actually... Oh, someone's getting sleepy. Must be the trip the to trip fan. The trip to fan, I'll yeah. I'll put a pot of coffee on. <laughs> Janet, coffee? Carla, coffee? Dina, coffee? Sasha, coffee? Dad, coffee? I wish I had given you more siblings, Glenn. Ooh. That, that's actually... Hey... We've all had those big family meals. Let's face it, the conversation at that one is probably superior to most of the ones that all, all, any of us have attended. Disguise. What? You're in a wheelchair. You can't disguise yourself as anything. Is that so, Dad? Chris? But that's impossible. I've seen Chris standing up many times. Have you? Hey, Chris, I got two tickets for the Sucks. You want to go? You got it, Dad. Yep. Charlie horse. Oh, another Charlie horse, huh? Well, you sit tight, Chris. I can just take Joe's brother-in-law, Wendell. Christopher? It's just Chris. I think you know that. That's kind of messed up right there, yeah? All right, that one, that one was definitely di different. What was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey! What's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way, if your way is very wet. Oh, that's, I don't mind Subway. Eh, Subway. Subway's pretty good. Sometimes. Depends on which Subway you go into. We're not going to get into a deep discussion of Subway right now. <laughs> Sometimes Subway sucks. Sometimes it's good. I wonder what I'll see on my first time. It. I knew that was coming. I've seen that me. <laughs> I've seen that me a whole bunch of times and it makes me laugh every time. Only because the kid is so slick. I mean, he just, <laughs> he just, trust me, as somebody who knows about head trauma, he just lost all memories of like, I don't know, what is he, 14? So he probably won't remember anything of second and third grade. But he just turned around with, I meant to do that and nothing happened. I love you, Dad. And thanks for the pep talk. Hey, I learned from the best. You know, I played football for Coach Joe Paterno at Penn State. Oh. All right, team. Oh. Remember everything you this. learned in practice this week and forget everything after practice this week. Yeah. Break. 
I don't think there was I it, ever in the history of sports. I don't think there was anybody who had a more well deserved, but a deeper, longer fall from grace. Joe Paterno was an absolute college football god, and now he nobody talks about him, and it's just as well. <laughs>